when you, you get late into the year, weather starts to become an issue. What, does does Ryan have to be wary of that in terms of how he grips the ball, how he throws the ball? What kind of things do you talk about when when things get a little colder and windier this time of year? Oh, colder. Uh, not a whole lot of discussion about that. You know, you know, Ryan's been pretty good with the cold weather. Um, you know, there's really not, that's not really a huge thing we talk about in there. Uh, are there, I mean, does the ball get different? Is it harder, heavier, anything like that that you have to be aware of? Or Yeah, I mean, you know, it can feel a little bit harder, but it's just one of those things uh, as a quarterback, you kind of just deal with it. And um, For most quarterbacks, it's not as big an issue than maybe, you know, when the ball's wet, you know, wet is different than cold. He, he's, uh, you know, this this time last year, he was sort of just, you know, several games into it and kind of getting on his roll. How, this year, having, you know, how, I guess, how settled in is he? How how comfortable does he look in terms of uh, having had a whole season that was it 13 games to this point? Yeah, I think Ryan, you know, he's a guy who's, who has a routine each week in his preparation. Um he's pretty consistent in his approach every week and it really doesn't change. It's just a consistent approach. And it's been the same since he got here, even when he was not starting, you know, at the beginning of last year. So he's a routine based guy. Does that make it easier or harder for you to work with him? Do you ever want to try and shake him out of his routine a little bit and, and, and give him something else to think about or. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, the routine been working pretty well. So, uh, I think it's good to have a routine uh, in anything you do, and uh, especially one that works. And la- last one for me, Logan Woodside's getting a couple snaps here late in games, uh, you know, the fake punt too. How, how valuable is that even even in, a, in small doses for a guy like him? Yeah, you know, for Logan, it's great to, to get in there and any, anytime you get in the game and take some meaningful snaps in a regular season game is helpful for your backup. And, you know, he's had a few opportunities to do that. Thank you, sir. Got a write-in question here for you, coach. Uh, So the offense obviously has the opportunity to reach a number of significant individual milestones this season. Um, So how much of a testament would it be to individual and collective success for Ryan and the receivers if Corey and AJ can both reach a thousand yards? Yeah, you know, we we really talk about winning more than, you know, individual stats. Um, I think if you win, then, you know, those types of rewards and stats and things you're talking about, they come with winning. (laughs) And uh, they don't mean as much, you know, unless you win. I, I don't want to speak for those guys, but I'm sure, uh, you know, they'd like to win uh, more so than, than a bunch of individual stats. Ron. What's up, Coach Pat? Hey, Tron. Uh, a lot was made about regression for Ryan Tannehill coming into this year, but it doesn't seem like that, that has happened. What are some ways that you could say he's actually progressed rather than regressed? Well, I think he's maintained that consistency that, you know, he had uh, from last year. I think um, one of the things he's done and been more cognizant of is, is throwing the ball away, you know, taking care of the ball. Um, you know, he's such a competitive guy. He wants to finish plays. And, and this year he's done a better job at, you know, we kind of say throw the ball away, live to fight another day. <laughs> and I think he's done a better job of that. Um, I think that's one thing that he's done. Is that kind of thing hard to to break? Because, like, it's, it, it seems like there's something that you, you kind of want a, a, a player to try to make plays, but you want him to balance it. Like you said, is it is it hard to break that habit of you know always trying to do something, but keeping it from being too much? I think it can be. You know, uh, some when you throw the ball away, it, it, you can feel like you're almost giving up on a play, and right. uh, but you're not. You know, we we strive to play complementarily. Um, we have an excellent punter and a good defense, so you know you try to play the game and manage it properly at our position and. And one of those key things is throwing the ball away, not taking sacks, 
not taking us necessary hits. Uh, so we can play it in a complementary way in all three phases. You mentioned managing the game. What what do you make of that that title, right, of, of game manager? Because some quarterbacks, well, not quarterbacks, but some media folks will use it in negative context. But I personally think that. Yeah, I think from you know, I think it's overused that term. He's a game manager. Um, I think every quarterback manages the game in his own way relative to what the game plan is, um, relative to what the situation is during a game. Um, there's different ways to manage it. So as a quarterback, you're constantly managing the game, managing the clock, man, managing the situation, um, you know, working with your teammates, uh, getting the call. I mean, it, that's all part of managing the game. I think game manager, yeah, that could be a term that's kind of, Kind of overused. Gotcha. And, and, and in regards to Deshaun Kaiser, very talented player. How, how has your your work with him come along? That's been good. You know, um, a lot of time spent with him. Um, you know, a lot of it is Zoom, and so it's it's kind of it's kind of like when Trevor is here. It's kind of on the fringes of everything, working around our normal <laughs> schedule at work, and then working with him, and then working with him later on the field, uh, and just making sure. He's ready to go, and uh, he's done a good job. It's it's not it's not an easy job to to be a quarantine quarterback and make sure you're uh, doing your own homework too to make sure you know the plan each week. And I think he's done a good job of that thus far. 